From the Geek Group's High Energy Physics Laboratory comes our Aluminum Sublimating Impulse Generator, affectionately known as Project Thumper. There are essentially four components to Thumper. The capacitor charging cabinet, the firing circuit, the safety discharge circuit, and the panel that controls them. The bottom drawer within the capacitor cabinet contains the charging system. Turning the key on the control panel to arm allows 120 volts of alternating current from a standard outlet to pass into a high voltage relay, which separates the safety discharge circuit from the capacitor bank. Turning the fire charge switch to charge, then pressing the charge button, energizes a contactor allowing current to flow into a transformer stepping up the voltage to around 2.5 kilovolts. From the transformer, the current flows into 36 diodes arranged in three parallel rows, each with three diodes in series, wired as a full wave bridge rectifier to output direct current through another contactor into the capacitor bank. Using 160 450 volt capacitors, each with 2,000 microfarads of capacitance and eight shelves of five parallel series of four, means our 1.8 kilovolts discharges at 80,000 amperes. Since that works out to a 144 million watt impulse, the discharge circuitry is made to stand up to considerable usage. We turn the charge fire switch to fire, disconnecting the charging circuit, leaving the bank connected to the firing circuit. Four 750 MCM copper cables and 5 inch wide, 3 8 inch thick copper plates with robust insulators between them and the table. The business end of Thumper is called the test stand, and is comprised of a pair of J-hooks across which we place whatever piece of material we're going to be testing if it's in lab use or destroying if it's for a show. For instance, a can, which is functionally much like a terrible fuse. Encased in Macrolon, a common component of bulletproof glass, is a pneumatically controlled spark gap, which, with the arm firing switch depressed, receives a signal from the big red button of science to close the gap between the two brass cylinders to 30 thousandths of an inch, allowing the impulse to spark across and obliterate the item in the hook. The impulse only lasts around three thousandths of a second, in which time any aluminum that isn't heated to incandescing vaporization is torn to shreds and blasted across the room with a thunderous shockwave. The audience, standing a minimum of 35 feet across the room and behind a safety cage, feel that shockwave as a thump in their chests, from which Thumper derives its name. While the array of light bulbs atop the cabinet are a resistor during charging, they are most useful for removing the residual charge from the bank, either after firing or should we need to abort firing altogether. Switching the key to the dump position uses those bulbs to slowly and safely dissipate the energy away from the caps. The entire process takes about a minute and a half, which is about how long it takes for the afterimage to fade from the audience's retinas. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.